when you come and learn Torah, you learn Kabbalah. Even if you don't understand Kabbalah, it depends where your heart is, and you're going to understand what that Hashem wanted to tell you, what the righteous people actually meant by, by writing Kabbalah. Because also Kabbalah, what it means Kabbalah? Kabbalah, it means to receive something that we already receive, the wisdom, to receive it. From, so what, what is it? What's the purpose? That we're going to know all of the numeral values of the combinations of the letters of the Torah. That's the purpose? That's the will of Hashem in Barach? No, for sure. It's to bring us to know Hashem better, to love Hashem, to count on Hashem, to live our life as a holy nation with Hashem. In, in. So, so it's a spiritual, emotional connection with the Creator through Kabbalah. So the normal value of the word Kabbalah is equal to the normal value of the word Niuf, adultery. So it means where your heart is. You can learn Kabbalah and that it's going to bring you to horrible places, to horrible, horrible places. That through that limud that you learn the secrets and combinations and normal values and, and, and all the secrets of Kabbalah, it's it going to make you worse, it's going to make you corrupt, it's going to make you cruel, it's going to make you desiring bad things and having foreign thoughts and lusts and, and confused. And so it all depends on what is your approach. So now we can learn Likutei Moran, you can understand the Kabbalah that Rabbeinu is bringing and you can, you can be a person that is not able to, to understand all of those quotes, but still it will always going to be what that you're going to find out and learn and going to achieve from the limud going to be depend in in your will in where are you when you're coming to to learn. So Rabbeinu is saying to us kigam ein bet that's what we read ushlosha pe'amim ein bet and three times ein bet the name of seventy two seventy two letters of Hashem itvarach ze bechinat bechinat kohen gadol vekohen hediot usgan akohen the three uh, kinds of Kohanim that were serving Hashem Yidbarach in the days of Beit HaMikdash. So each and every one of them is in the aspect of the name of Hashem Yidbarach that is built and written in 72 letters. The biggest Kohen, the important Kohen of them all, Kohen Ediot, a regular Kohen, and the deputy of the Kohen. tevel. So by the fact that the world being seen, Hainu Mechaat Kapaim means that the person clapping his hands, what's the connection? The world being seen, clapping the hands. We said, clapping the hands, by clapping the hands, we're waking up Koach Ma'asa V'Gid Le'amo, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu reveals the power of his actions to his nation. Koach, power, normal value of the word power, Koach, the power of his actions, is 28. Power is 28. Kaf and Chet, it's 28. And we have 28 joints in our hands, in the palm of our hands. In every one we have 14, that is equal to the word Yad, a hand. So one hand and another hand, 14 and 14, comes together to be 28. So that's the power. And when you clap your hands, you're reminding yourself that the Creator, He made it all. It's not, Yadi, my hand made me succeed, my right hand, my strong hand, my powerful hand. No, it was not in my power. When you do that, you don't do anything. You're reminding yourself that it's Hashem. When your hands are like that, to do something, when you clap your hands, you're like a kid in, in kindergarten. You're just playing. You're not doing anything. You know that you're not doing anything. It's, you just clap your hands. So when you clap your hands, it wakes up the memory that it's all in the hands of Hashem in Barach. It's all in the hands of Hashem in Barach. And then, Yad and Yad is also, the normal value of Yad and Yad is also the word Yadid. Yadid is a friend. You can understand that Hashem in Barach is your friend. Koach and a friend, Yadid, is the same normal value.